Jesus never healed the sick as God. Jesus healed the sick as a man in perfect relationship with God. Jesus was here. The Holy Spirit comes down upon Jesus, rested upon him, and remained. And when Jesus healed the sick, it was God through Jesus. Jesus said several times. He said, you know, if you don't believe me through the things that I say, at least believe me through the works that I do. For it's the Father who dwells in me that does the works. That's Jesus. We're like, well, Todd White's taking deity away. No, no, no. All I'm doing is talking about the Bible. I know that Jesus is fully God. But he humbled himself. Philippians 2. Humbled himself and became a bondservant. Just like us. He knows all the things that we are going through. As a matter of fact, right now when Jesus ascended and went to sit at the right hand, it says in Hebrews that the man, capital M, Christ Jesus. There is a man seated on the mercy seat. Right there beside the Father interceding for you all day, every day. That's the Bible. So am I taking deity away from him? No, I'm not. He had to become a man to fulfill the law so that we could be set free from the law of sin and death. So Jesus, it says that grace and truth came through Jesus. If grace and truth came through Jesus Christ, then why didn't Jesus, since grace was in his life, try to sin and get away with it? So if the same thing, grace and truth, is on our life, why would we think for a second that we could sin and get away with it. And we're covered by grace. Do you really think that Jesus died so that we could sin and get away with it? Or did he die to free you from needing to sin? What do you think scripture means when 1 John says, If anybody has this hope in him, he ought to purify himself just as Jesus is pure. If anybody, for Sean, again, if anybody say that they abide in him, they ought to walk just as he walked. There's some big sandals to fill, man. How could we walk just as he walked? How could we purify ourselves just as he is pure? By taking heed according to his word. By getting into the secret place. By just like Jesus did, spending time with the Father and allowing him to father us. Well, good luck with that.
I'm going after Jesus with everything I am, and he says that I could be like him. People say, well, you can't. Well, you're wrong because the Bible says to follow him. He came and gave me this blank canvas. He came and gave me this pure heart, and I've never violated it with anything. It actually, it's actually something that you hide inside of your heart so that you don't sin against the Lord. Imagine that. You could actually have the word so strong inside of your heart that you never have to slip. People are like, well, that's false. That's not true. Well, you're wrong. I live with me. Some of you think I'm crazy. See, I live with me. I'm not sharing something that I don't live. I live it every day. I'm not just preaching something to you. I live with this every day. I live with the conviction of my righteousness. God has convicted me of righteousness. I'm convicted of my right standing with God. And I don't want to do anything to jeopardize or violate that. But if I trip, God is faithful and just to cleanse me of all unrighteousness, which means that all my righteousness is intact. If I slip. It doesn't say when you do. It says if you do. I know that's crazy for even the church to hear. I, I think it's weird that we can't even hear that today. Come on, people don't like to hear this. They think, well, that's, that's like some kind of strange doctrine. No, it's in your Bible. And if you're going to walk like Jesus, then you have to understand that Jesus never tried to sin and get away with it. Jesus lived pure before the Father, and he modeled something. He modeled what Christianity is supposed to look like. A holy life, holy given to the Father, totally dependent upon the Holy Spirit for everything. Him and his Father were one, and he modeled it perfectly, and he says, now, follow me. I just want to see normal Christianity, that's all. I, why, why? Why would people tell me that you can't live this way? They told me that in the beginning of my life. They tell me it still. You can't preach that. Well, you're, Jesus said that Noah was a man of righteousness. I live this, man. This is real. Like, this is the real thing. You know what makes me, what kind of breaks my heart? When people come up to me and say, Todd, what? You're the real deal. My question is, who are you? What good would it be for me to have some huge ministry that everybody gets healed, everybody gets out of wheelchairs, every prophetic word is amazing, but really I'm twisted and my life is out of order and I'm really not the man that I confess to be. There's not anybody that could tell me that I'm not because I live with me. I live with me. My kids will tell you that I'm a man of God. I'm a father. I'm not holier than thou. I just love Jesus 24-7.